Hey everybody, welcome back. No 10 pieces last time, but we, we, we were having a fun time. I still maintain. You, you can mock me, you can spit on my face. You can kick me in the, you know what? So I'll be the super auto hats. It's, it's close to super auto pets. If I said it fast, you might be like, super auto hats. You wouldn't know what it is. You can cut off my you know what with the pair of scissors. Listen, I know some people watch these videos with their kids, okay? I'm not trying to get into, I'm not trying to make it all weird. I'm, all I'm saying is my results on the score sheet don't matter to me as my re results on the fun sheet, okay? Sheesh! You know what I'm talking about, TikTok generation? Freaking mint! I don't know where I'm going with this at all. I do, I have enjoyed our weasel attempts. I think if you give it, oh, it doesn't need meat. You know why it doesn't need meat? Is because we got ourselves a, a moth. Moth equals you don't need meat. But you can take some meat and then move to position two. You're strengthening an elephant because we're learning elephant triceratops, elephant guinea fowl. You know, these are... I don't know if they're reliable or we're just early in the week, but either way, they're doing something. I did not think that this person's name was Mr. Panini's. I thought that they were named after uh, Justin's old pharmacist. We'll save that as a joke just for the old heads. Sell me. Place me. I think we could accept a level two moth. I don't think we care at all about a level two or level three beetle. So roll me. I would accept you. I would accept you, heart and soul. You know what's crazy? If you chocolate cake this guy, you get two gold a turn. <laughs> if you maybe like moved him back here first and then put another unit in front to accept the moth buff, I don't think that's worth it. Spending three gold to get one extra gold per turn. Uh, eventually you're gonna break even, but you might lose a lot of lives in the process. You know, it's not all about just breaking even on the on the economic side, you got to keep yourself alive as well. And right now, we're striking a good balance, okay? We're doing great. You take your level. We know that this unit can do something for us. We know he's, he's a good lad. Get him out here. Probably you're not going to kill the antelope, if I had to guess. Our free reroll has proved fruitless. Um, you know what? I think it's, it's time to dump you, and instead we'll take... The, the pug level. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm looking at my team and I'm like, this team sucks. Then I got to remember, it's round five and we got three wins. So we're not, we're not sweating it too much, I would say. Are we sweating it too much? No, 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 don't kill me. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. You're going to kill him, you piece of crap. He's just a poor, innocent Saiga antelope. Why would you that okay now you now you rework the whole squad you're gone you're up to the front or maybe second we'll see because we want well the weasel's probably gonna die anyway perfect salads i was gonna then buy some broccoli for you too but honestly you haven't deserved it you, you haven't earned it it's horrendous it's a horrendous selection here we'll we'll lean into the saiga antelope with the uh, couple of bees huge so the elephant needs to scale because the elephant needs to live to help the guinea fowl do better. Maybe you replace the guinea fowl with the triceratops. You put a donut on the elephant. I don't, what is his name? Please, please, the bubbly breaks. With a name like that, I'm sorry, I don't say this lightly. Okay, could you ease off a little bit? You're scaring the hose. I snooze. I snooze. I'm snoozing. Can you give me something I already got? <laughs> Thank you. Scorpion's just good. I mean, the scorpion will basically accomplish what the... Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. A scorpion will basically accomplish what we wanted the moth to accomplish in conjunction with the uh, elephant. I'm not like... I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Especially with the royal flycatcher. That's a fun build. Bear, uh, so I have to spawn honey. 
and then royal flycatcher. So I, you know, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop it! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Roll me. Feeling a little bit sus right now. I mean, we gotta. You gotta go. We got we got a core here that can do something. We just need some stats. Could you provide me? Would you would you be so inclined to provide me with some stats? We're almost on round ten. No unit has over ten HP. And we don't even. What do we have? The antelope second last instead of last. It's like our team's so bad. It's not likely to make a difference. But it's the principle of the matter. Okay, we have no upside right now. That's pretty bad. I think if I'm taking a sober view of the situation, our most realistic chance of having a path to a relatively successful win is go all in on summons. Sell this and sell this. They didn't get where they needed to go. Buy a deer. Sell your sea lion. Buy a vulture. And now all of a sudden, I'm, I'm looking at the run and I'm going, hey, this ain't half bad. You should live through some snipes. I don't know how many snipes exist this week, but the weasel, the weasel's gone, brother. We're not going extra weasley here. I was hoping to get another spawn. You know what? No, don't be stupid. Keep the cow. Keep everything frozen. You're not on lethal. Level up your vulture next time. Go maybe get a shark out of this. Oh, maybe a level two shark. You ever see the, the meme that's like sometimes there's just one missing piece and then it's someone putting like, it's a brain with one puzzle piece missing and they always put in something that's actually bad for you, like, you know, seven double IPAs in one night. We got closer that time. That's sometimes you're only missing one piece. Level two shark. Except maybe like not joking this time. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. I think you definitely put shark behind vulture. Maybe you don't need an antelope anymore. It's not doing what we need it to do. Maybe you um, sell, sell, and you run three freaking deers out here. Now, your best unit is 6'7". That's a great uh, stat if you're playing like middle school basketball, but... I feel like maybe we, we, but you know what? I was gonna say like maybe we're in trouble and of course we're in trouble, but desperate times call for desperate measures, man. Like we, we were definitely extremely likely to lose if we just kept up like what we were already doing. So even to pull one extra win out of that feels like our pivot worked, in my opinion. We should give them a banana too, it's true. Or we, I mean, we could just combine them. But then now if we combine them, we wouldn't have the space to, or we wouldn't have the money to put another unit out there. You don't have to combine all of them, I suppose. Friend faints. If it was a faint pet, activates its ability again. I know this looks like it's going to break. But I'm pretty sure that the pterodactyl, sorry, the pteranodon, I grew up in a simpler time. We, we called them pterodactyls back then. All flying dinosaurs were pterodactyls. All dinosaurs with, oh, no, it does not work. Uh, all dinosaurs with long necks were uh, brontosauruses. We didn't know about the diplodocus. We didn't know about the um, apatosaurus, the argentinosaurus, etc., etc. Anyway, that did not work well. Did not work well. Let me get, obviously this is a decent team. This is our squad. The trick with the moth, I know you're like, why, why am I taking advice from someone without 10 pieces? Well, we'll get there one day, okay? Either way though, um, the trick with the moth, you really put us up against this team? That's an insult. Like I, I know I keep getting sidetracked here, but like, you don't have to, just because I've made some mistakes in my life doesn't mean you have to put me up against the team that bought a blueberry round one. Like, what, what a slap in the face. Anyway, regardless, you put the moth's buff on the weakest unit. It tends to set up more favorable trades. You put it on the strongest unit, you tend to waste your moth. Now we're talking. Give me the elephant and run the elephant up at the front. 
I know it's well. No, uh, run him at the back. I'm scared. And then combine you lads, and then we'll, we'll run a jokes on you. We got a double moth situation here. If we could get to a level two elephant, I think we could possibly get. Um, oh no, they have royal flycatcher. I think we could possibly make the strat we've been angling for actually work. Namely, like a, a guinea fowl, or a, later in the game, a triceratops. Mayhaps. Nah. Yeah. I'm not doing it yet. We're doing it next round. You know what? We want the hurt trigger more than anything. And we're going to move you to the front anyway. There's going to be mods. We should be taking broccoli at the expense of our attack, like all the live long day. We win these. We win these. Thank you, Broccoli. I really appreciate that. Now, buff me. Level me. If two friends faint, give the nearest friend a head, plus three attack, plus three health. You at least do something. And for that, I, I will always respect you. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was looking for. I know you're like, what is this? <laughs> what is this, Reggie? Um, I got strats. I got strats. Don't you worry your head. You're pretty little head about this. I got strats. Yeah, I have 15 gold where the stuff frozen. I got all sorts of strats. I got strats you wouldn't even dream of. I got stats that would send a chill down your, your freaking spine. Help me. Oh, I got stats, brother. I mean strats. I got strats, brother. Nice shot. Okay. My dog is better than yours. I could teach you, but I'll have to George. What do you got for me? Hippo? That's yesterday's news. Now you'll be buffing the guinea fowl. Delightfully devilish, Seymour? Mayhaps. Mayhaps. I just, I, I'm thinking of becoming one of those guys who um, says mayhaps. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Now watch this. Uh, wait, no, this is a, what? no, 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 it's good, it's good. Because then you come out and then you're going to give an awesome buff to the unit in front of you and you still died in one hit, so it didn't actually make a difference, but it looked cool. That hurt, a, that hurt a great deal, honestly. But I'm glad I froze a snail. And I think like an early shark kind of goes sicko mode. And then maybe for now, why don't you take a banana? I know it's a little goofy, but we're instead of trying to play for round for 10 wins, maybe we should just try to play to win this round. Maybe that's a secret here. You're gonna kill my, my guinea fowl. How, how dare you? This is not good. I'm getting outclassed. I'm getting outplayed. That was good though. That was not good at all. That was not good in the size, but you had 12 HP. Oh, that's so close to a victory that it is a victory. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I feel like we got two different synergies happening at once here, man. And that's... A, a George Divided Cannot Stand, I believe is the... That's the Seinfeld quote. A George Divided Cannot Stand. We've reached the part of the game where I just play Go Fish and look for units I've already got. We're still outclassing some units here. It's like, I, you know what I think we gotta do? I mean, we, a lot of the units that are on our squad right now should be sold. And also, we probably just can win just on the back of, like, Shark and Summons. I think we gotta unwind the Trumpets on the build, though. We gotta go non-Trumpet strats. Keep the Elephant. Don't take an Antelope. Although it seems uh, prudent. Let's try this. I know garlic makes more sense, but maybe if we can screw up a, a last position unit. I feel like the Eggplant tends to not be great. But it also tends to be fun, except this time they have a um, they have a doorhead ant, which means that they're um, 
their antelope's still gonna be at the back. So they're gonna they're gonna summon like a pretty huge dog, I think. But wait, they, the team doesn't seem that crazy. It doesn't seem that strong. It doesn't seem like it's all that in a bag of potato chips. In fact, it seems like we won and we didn't even get our shark dirty. So turkey's like a gimme if you're gonna be running this. You've had your chance. In fact, double turkey. All the way across the sky. Wow, wow, oh my god. Look at that turkey. I was hoping to get like some chocolate. Me at uh, Easter? <laughs> donut. Donut me. Call me Duncan the way I do want a donut. So what's your strat? I know this sounds like kind of forehead. My strat right now, I think, is just buy units that are good. And for once, like, don't buy units that are bad. My strat is like not to, uh, well, this is not gonna go well though. <laughs> I think. My strat is not really to have a strategy, I guess. My strat is just to, oh, it's kind of close. My strat is just to buy good units instead of like units that work well together. What is this? Can I get a... Dude, honestly, maybe I should be going all in on trumpets because you're going to come out and be like a, a freaking trumpet superstar. You're going to gain one trumpet for each two health this has. Mm. You'd be like... It's going to be another ten trumpets when you come out. It's at least interesting. You know, we should have given a pita to the freaking giddy fowl ages ago, man. It's, it's falling apart. Oh, their lion doesn't work, though. So you're saying there's a chance. Big dog. Come on, big dog. Come on, big dog. Nice try. I didn't run any equipment just in case you stole it. Did they buy it? We've done it. We've got to eight. Is that a new PB? Or we, do, I think we got eight on our first run as well. Should take this. Chocolate me? That's it's still good. It's still good. It's still relevant. It's still good. Now I recognize we're summoning one less unit now, but we should be summoning a much stronger dog. Uh, not this time though, because their elephant's gonna wash us. Not their elephant, sorry. Their dog's gonna wash us. We're on two HP already. We're on, which means we're on one HP already. This is a cool fate, man. That's not gonna do it. We need to we need to buff you. And we need to I mean we needed you to level more than anything else. This is like I would be pretty surprised if we made it through this round. Maybe against like a really weak summon team, we got a chance. Their own elephant is gonna screw me up big time though. It's a 2550 elephant and nobody on our squad does any damage. <laughs> That's not great, brother. That's pretty bad. I mean, we got a, we got a large dog coming out there, but he ain't he ain't that big. He ain't that large. He was it could have been worse, honestly. Okay, run me back one more. We're having a little trouble getting over the hump, but we're we're cooking some interesting stuff at the very least. Two strong units. Only thing that would make it better, a third strong unit. Be like a legendary husband. I'm thinking uh um, Napoleon, you know, he was Josephine's uh, husband. I'm not sure how Napoleon pilled you are. My favorite Napoleon quote in a letter to Josephine, uh, I'll be home in three days, don't wash. You can look that up. That's an actual Napoleon quote. I think it goes without saying that Napoleon was a real one. <laughs> I'm not saying, I did not say at any point you have to hand it to him, Okay. All I said was he's a real one. A real what? He, he lived by his own principles. He wanted a stinky wife. I, could, I can respect it. It's not my lot in life, but I can respect it. Give me doorhead ant, and we'll, we'll take more levels in the future. Don't get me wrong. But baboon, buffing the doorhead ant. This is going to go pog crazy to the extreme. This doorhead ant is going to be unstoppable. They alive, dang it. It's a miracle. He's, he's too strong. You can't, you're wasting your time. 
You're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. Like the song by Canadian alt rock band Default. I don't know that one. I bet you do. It goes, stop the feel, the fret the feel. We can't stake the fall. We make it all again. Sorry, I'm searching my brain here. Whoa, again. You know that one? See you waiting. Look so lonely. I no, oh, you bought the dromedary instead of the door head ant. I'm so stupid because I was racking my brain for lyrics from like 2002. Okay, well, we're on three life, which is pretty bad. But on the bright side, we have no upside potential. Skunk me, that's upside potential. That's even more upside potential as far as I'm concerned. Um, I feel like you could do pretty well by buying two skunks. But then you're like, what is this baboon doing? You're absolutely right. There's a real problem there. Um, I still think you keep them for a round. I'm going to bank on a little garlic on you being a, an ultimate stabilizer. And then the baboons can do something to the skunk. Skunks. Skunk. And then we... Like, not everything always has to be perfect. Sometimes it just has to be good enough, and that was good enough. Two skunks, turning into one level two skunk is quite potent. So you need this. Which will also give you more health, which is just advisable. Now, if I combine you, you'll buff each other. But honestly, I'm willing to wait around, and I'd rather have the effect of two skunks. Um, and then next turn, we can combine the skunks, hope that we get a level up when tier fours actually come to pass. And even if we don't, both, what the heck? Both baboons will buff the skunk, thus making all the buffs get concentrated on a unit that can actually tough it out in the late game and have some impact. It all sounds good. Let's see how it falls apart. Useless. You know what? I was going to say it's not useless if we get some benefit out of it, but I would say ah, pretty useless. Pretty, pretty useless. Now, at least the squads that we're going up against, I don't mean to be offensive, but I would say they're not that. And if I'm, gonna, if I'm willing to make a few enemies, I would also say they're not a bag of potato chips either. So we've actually managed to claw our way back in here. That's an important level. Um... I don't really think we have a unit that justifies the use of a monkey right now. Like, say goodbye to a monkey, that's not advisable either. Because a monkey is a very valuable uh, unit in this game. For scaling anything. And the stats don't go bad just because you put them on, like, a beetle, for example. But I think we're, we're cooking something a little different. We're just... Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Or don't even hate the game. Love the game. Because he hear me out here. It's a good game. Now, the thing with baboons. Once you've made like a, a semi-firm commitment to your baboons. I think you kind of stay there. You, you, what you're looking for is a living long enough to get big buffs on a tier 6 unit. And the thing about me, and a lot of people don't know this. This might be shocking intel to you. Is that I like big buffs. And I cannot lie. You other gamers can't deny. Now, we want to roll see a tier 5. A good tier 5, please. Roll me, tier 5. We got a tier 5, it's a shark. I think that is like how we're going to do this then. We're going to put skunk at the front, shark at the back. The baboons are all going to buff the shark. This shark is going to have two rounds of getting quite strong. And then we'll rework the whole game in the image of the shark. And also, you've destroyed my door head, you piece of junk. Um, I shouldn't be calling people pieces of junk. It's, it's a little insulting, I'll admit, okay? We at least, we win, actually. Maybe, oh, no, we draw. Uh, maybe I'm the piece of junk. Rework the whole run in the image of your shark and then a tier 6 that benefits from synergies. It won't be a Pteranodon. Chocolate is, you have to freeze it. 
we can get a tier three baboon to make space, or alternatively, we can get we can sell our door head ant to take a tier six and then probably feed the tier six or the shark some chocolate. I actually I, I could understand your hesitancy if you look at this squad and say this squad's not doing anything. But I genuinely think this is the best chance we've had of getting to 10. Like we have a, a strategy that scales well into the late game just because of the baboons. We need to see tier sixes for that to happen, but tier six orca works perfectly with shark. Sell me, buy me, buff me. We could combine you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna simmer on it for now. I'm gonna put a banana on you just because it makes our shark better, and our orca is gonna inherit a ton of stats. A ton of stats, man. Now it's we're still playing a little bit of as Dan would call it, we're playing a little prayer ball. A rooster. Wow. Here comes the rooster. Oh, yeah. You know, he ain't gonna die. When you kill my units, I only become stronger. The only way to defeat me is by not attacking me. Look at that. Not interested in ice cream. We have bigger ambitions. Absolutely, give me a pita bread. I would take that first and then roll second. Why? Because I can. More baboons. I mean, two level three baboons might be overkill. And if we're going to do one level three... Well, listen, I'm not too... Just don't, don't worry about it so much yet. We're puzzling it out right here. I'm a little concerned about the yippo. Right? Actually, we might match up with the hippo at like an incredible time for us in our lives. We did indeed. It always feels good to beat a hippo build. It's like beating Team Iceland in uh, the Mighty Ducks too. I'll be straight up with you. I don't think we should concern ourselves with... Maybe one level 2 baboon, one level 3 baboon would be nice. But we're, we're probably going to end up in a situation... Well, we're maybe going to end up in a situation where the orca is, is wasting some turns of, of buffing. But we'll see. Okay, they got all their eggs in the salamander's basket. We need to move the orca back. That's totally my mistake. A paper getting spat out is, is quite the blessing, though. Losing a pita is, is insanely bad. That's very annoying. But I think the ink is not going to be good enough. Unless, it depends what the orca spits out, I guess. Shame. I think we're going to 10. I think, we, I think the baboons did it for us. I'm like, you need to go here now because you spit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Why don't you just take a chili pepper? Just because... I mean, chocolate is the most valuable thing for us, but I'm not going to turn up my nose at like any extra damage if possible. Unless it activates more hurt triggers on the enemies. But wait, wait, wait. if our orca was moved up, they'd get so many less triggers from this level 3 triceratops. It's a, it's a scam! It's not a scam. Look at this. Plus the PETA activation. You gotta admit, as we... Never mind, we drew that one. But as we get close to possibly getting the 10 wins... We cooked on this one. You gotta. We need, we need some more attack, if anything, I guess. We, we cooked a little bit. Maybe not as much as some other gamers. Maybe we're gonna get outscaled soon here or out... Uh... That's why we took the pita, by the way. It was for that exact situation, but... You shoot me? How dare you? I think we're gonna be completely fine, by the way. Are we gonna be completely fine? We're gonna be completely fine. It was actually really close, but... But we, we cooked something here. The baboons, the orca. I'd love to see the orca get to level three. I would guess that we've probably done that before, but... I, we might never have had a level three baboon win. And I, I understand, he's a full HP, well, what, what do you want me to do? I know you're gonna say, what about putting a donut on another unit? It doesn't work that way, okay? Think! They think about everything, don't they? Okay, this is it, you got me on this one? 
I'm willing to admit that you got me on this one. There's nothing much I could do about this. If I didn't kill you with one of my first two units, then your your elephants go in yard. I'd like to resign. I saw a post on the chess subreddit. They said, why is resignation so much more popular in chess than in any other sport? I think I'll, I'll give you the answer, okay? One of them is that in other sports, guy who knows nothing about uh, competitive chess now is going to explain chess to you. By the way, I think you got to go. I think we could just scale our, our units more effectively with an extra space here and look for a possible summon. One reason oh, is that in chess, there's less variance than in other sports once you get a, a material disadvantage. Like if you go uh, down a goal in the NHL, you're less likely to win than your opponent. Easy. But you can always come back. Your odds probably go from like, if, if we put it at 50-50 first, your odds probably go to like, uh, you know, 70-30 or something like that. This one's gonna hurt me a lot. <laughs> In chess, if you go down by like a, a bishop, it's a good night, Gracie, you know? The other reason, I think, is if you played, if, if you paid a million dollars for tickets to see your favorite NHL team, and they went down 4-0 in the first period, and then they said, sorry guys, we're just going to resign this one. We'll come back fresh for the next game with, with strong legs. There would be a riot, because everyone would have been hopped up on 17.5 uh, dollar uh, Budweisers, and uh, it would be, there would be Wikipedia articles written about that day. Let's just put it that way. Hang on. The, the stallion that mounts the world, the scorpion that completely changed our fortunes, possibly, possibly, definitely. He's a gamer. We got our 10 piece. I'm feeling rejuvenated. No, no new badges, but still. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!